What the hell? Did he just drop his brain? <laughs> Hello friends and welcome to a new video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Florian, I'm a video editor, filmmaker and I've just seen that about two hours ago Andreas Hem uploaded a new video. Probably you and me have been looking forward to for the last half year. So I figured why not watch it together and then see if we can analyze his editing a little bit so that you can learn something about his style today. So let's jump right in and look at his video. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, I mean already the level of effort that making this intro has taken What the hell? Uh, this is so cool. I mean, they turned a whole lot of old shots from any of the old videos into basically a comic here. This is probably taking so long to make this intro. Yeah, you always have a reason to explain, Andreas, right? I just checked, the last video I uploaded was in July. After releasing my previous vlog, I received a lot of hate comments on my videos. These comments were so mean and they, they left me uninspired to make videos on YouTube. So, in order to get inspired again, I decided to track down my worst hater and kick his ass. His channel goes under the name Andreas Sucks 48 I mean, the thing that makes Andreas' video so special is the level of thought and production quality that he puts into there. I decided to make a Spider-Man suit. That will make it easier for me to beat That was a pretty cool effect. Beat him up, and it will for sure give this vlog a lot more views. I mean, just look at both of the screens, they have some sort of animations running there. Either he found some stock footage that actually has this animation here already, or he actually put something like this together, which would be additional effort. And then the haters, I'm not sure where that's gonna lead. I didn't read any hate comments, but let's see where that goes. No uploads in three months. Yeah, I'd rest. So, Andreas sucks 48. My stuntman is about to fuck you up! <laughs> So if we stop there, and I mean that's the thing that makes Andre that Andreas can do so super well is that if you look at the the signs here, obviously they're animated into this, but it's really really well made. And since the clip is only for a few seconds long, if you didn't really look for that, you might actually think it is real. Except from that one, that's pretty obvious. But the eyes are super cool. I don't know how he did that one. Bad guys. This one's pretty cool, so that it seems like you actually see through his eyes. He made kind of a vignette here on the vision that looks like the Spider-Man eyes. This is gonna be tough. Ooh. Or maybe not. So this is like a classic effect that Andreas uses very often. And then here he's using this speed up where you see that the motion gets super fast and blurry. That's a pretty cool effect that he uses very often. Yes, you are fat, maybe not fat in your body, but you are fat in your head! <laughs> and then the actual fact that they made an entire short movie out of this. Oh, the music rising, so super big tension right now. Slow motion, bomb is flying, gas tank. Bam! Did you see the explosion? Here, that shot only lasts for a few frames, but here you can actually see the level of effort he put into animating this explosion so that it looks actually real. Pretty sick. <laughs> Shooting scene. What the hell? Did he just... <laughs> Did he just drop his brain? I gotta watch that again. I think it started, I don't know how he did that. I, I would need to like look at every single frame to see how he did that, but here's like, it looks like a fake brain that's falling out of his guy's head here. Before it looked like an animation, but this one looks very real. It's lying here on the table. And then his classical Spider-Man effect thing. Oh shit, he's gonna blow up. <laughs> how the guy is flowing away, that was pretty sick. My name is Andreas Hem, and I'm back. Again. Well, it was a long time. What's up guys, welcome to the latest video in YouTube history. 
and my first video in 2019. Yeah, that's true. I mean, nobody else except Andreas can not upload anything to YouTube and still massively grow on YouTube. But <laughs> he totally deserves it. The videos are so good. Happy New Year. Yeah, to be honest, I don't late. even know where to start. I mean, some of you are probably like wondering what I've been up to for like the last six months. Obviously, I'm not dead and I will never stop making videos on YouTube. No, no, we know the big part of the time he's been in America filming with Yes Theory, right? Anyways, I'm really excited about 2019. I got some amazing content coming up and I just can't wait to show you. But before I talk about the future of this channel... Oh yeah, I've seen he was in Dubai with Peter and Maddie with Epidemic Sound. I would strictly advise you to fasten your seatbelt because I'm about to show you the craziest year of my life. Mm, let's see. Enjoy. 2018 was a That's a pretty cool effect he's used in quite a few videos before, like the spinning earth and then zooming in from top. And then it's probably gonna go into some sort of a drone shot from here. He actually even took the effort and animated in a plane and clouds. That's pretty cool. Huge year for me. And I spent the first part of it making after movies all over Europe. Yeah, zoom into a drone shot. I mean, he's so good at making these after movies. That's probably the first thing I've ever seen on his channel where those after movies and typically those usually look always look the same. But the way he's doing it, that's a whole nother level. That was cool. Let's see how he did that. Okay, he has the guy that goes closer. And then there was something wiping in front of the lens and then he did some rotoscoping in After Effects probably to key out the guy from the background and then he animated him on another background. Yeah, some jungle background. We shot a couple of vlogs in July and the plan was to release them by the end of the summer. Yeah, that Honestly, didn't happen. That never happened. Yeah. Because in August, I got a phone call that changed my life. I got a call from Will Smith's management. They invited me down to Miami to help out on a couple of vlogs. So sick. Okay, I didn't know he was actually filming for so Will Smith. That, That's super cool. From yes Theory. They really liked As my that work I knew. and they asked me if I wanted to spend the rest of my summer in LA. I stayed at their house for 40 days super sick. and I had the time of my life. Yeah, I, I believe that. I also got to see Amar jump over the Grand Canyon with Will Smith on his 50th birthday. That was crazy. And especially the shot where you see the cliff and then them falling right through the cliff and then shooting back up. So cool. I mean, I, I would have, I would have never done something like this. It's so crazy. I spent the rest of the year shooting commercials, music videos, and upcoming vlogs. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like you shot so many vlogs, Andreas. When, when do you ever want to get the time to edit them? <laughs> that was cool. Did you see how he went out from the, from inside the helicopter? Here's the shot with, I think that's Thomas, and then here it's rotating out. Zooming out, so he made it. He made the transition so seamless between the in helicopter shot and then the one out of the helicopter that you don't even see where the cut was. That was cool. What did he do here? Yeah, some sort of a luma fade transition. And then there was something blocking the camera and over to the next one. Here, this is like a classic. These shots look like super under SM. It's a very, very wide angle film from below with the gimbal either turning or walking. That was pretty cool. That's the shot I meant. So sick. And how he's flying back up again. Classic Andreas Ham sky replacement. He's like when looking back at 2018, I realized what matters the most. This, by the way, here, this is the gimbal setup that Andreas is always using. He has like a small monitor, the double grip handle, and then the top grip. And I think the camera he's been using, the last time that I've seen him film, he was using, I think it's a Sony A7S or A7S2, I don't know exactly. To me. This year, I want to spend more time on my own projects and keep building this channel. Yeah, let's see how that's gonna go out. I've learned from my mistakes, so I'm not gonna make any promises this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna say that this was the first chapter, and from now on, I'll only be full of surprises. See you guys soon. 
let's see how soon. This was cool. So let's see how he did that one here. I really like this. So he's zooming out of the door. I hear he's just connecting a whole bunch of shots behind each other and then making them so seamless and making them that it just feels like as if though it was filmed in one motion out of the studio then to the street. Turning down, the drone shot and then out of the world. Yeah, classic Andreas. Super sick. I've already subscribed, Andreas, you don't need to convince me. Let's see if he's actually gonna upload a little bit more this year. I would be super excited to see that, especially with his videos. They are so different than what everybody else is doing. From my point of view, that's exactly the reason why his channel has been growing so much and why basically everybody looks forward to seeing his new videos. There's just a completely different level of quality and effort that he puts into the videos than anybody else. So it'll be super exciting to see if he's actually gonna upload a little bit more this year. I've been waiting to see the next video for ages. If you like this kind of reaction video, then give it a thumbs up. Let's see when Andrea's gonna upload the next one. Really hope it's gonna be sooner than later. Until next time.